Hiya, I'm Vicky and welcome to Pretty Little Claws. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a fabulous flamingo design with a bit of foil and of course, glitter. Enjoy. Using the Urban Graffiti Base Coat, I'm going to cover this nail. So if you're going to do these on natural nails, you would have to prep and dehydrate these nails before you put the base coat on. But because these are already sculpted, I can go straight in with my colour. But I need the base coat because I'm going to use a foil. Pop that under for 60 seconds, please. So with a linter-free wipe and the Neo Nail Gel Residue Wipe Off Solution. I'm gonna clean off the back of the foil. Get rid of any dirt or anything on there. Just makes it stick easier. And then just decide what bits I would like on there. In random bits of colour on them. This one is Sherbet Lemon and then Miami Beach. I kind of just want them to blend through slightly. It's like a little bit of an ombre. This is just going to be a bit of a background colour. A bit of mimosa. Again, just blending through. Go back in with sherbet lemon. Miami Beach. Let's see why I'm doing this in a sec. I just want like a nice random background colour. On this one, I'm just going to use uh, Snow White. Obviously sticking to my favourite brush, the Neo Nail 01. It's just nice and thin. I tend to do everything with this brush. I'm going to do a straight line. Another line next to it. Right, so once you're happy with that, because they're still wet, what I'm going to do with this one is top coat this one whilst I'm here. Just to seal it in, it's done then. I don't want to be drawing on this one and get it all over my hand. Pop that under the lamp for 60 seconds, please. Lovely. So I'm going to go back over this one with Snow White just to thicken up the lines slightly. Pop a little bit more into my palette. And then I'm gonna go over to this one. I'm pretty much gonna do the same. I'm gonna do like a checkerboard effect. So I'm gonna set this and then I'm gonna go back and do straight lines going down. Pop that under for 30 seconds, please. Load me rush back up, down the middle. Pop that under, 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna go in and do the flamingo. 
Right, so I've not top coat these yet, these two. I'm going to top coat these once I do this one. Do it all together. Nice and easy. Right, so I'm going to start off with Miami Beach. I'm going to start my flamingo. And do his chest here. And do like a swirly, feathery pattern. It's gonna be a very flamboyant flamingo. Let's do his head, or his neck even, that's not his head, let's do his neck. Flamingos have weird shaped heads, don't they? Very strange. Do his little knobbly knee. Carry on with his foot. There we go. Another little knobbly knee. Why do their legs go that way? I don't know. If anyone knows, leave a comment below. I want to know why. So, I'm not gonna set that yet. I'm gonna go in with a bit of sherbet lemon. And just, I'm just literally adding random colors into him. Just want it like, yeah, he's just gonna be flamboyant. Loads of random little specks of color. Do some random little dots. So this is Mimosa. And then I'm gonna use a random, what is it? It's a Lily of the Nile. It's a really, really light blue. just to pick up some of his feathers. Again, because it's not set, all the colours will like blend, but it should look more like a watercolour. Add some more random dots. Some yellow. We need to give him a name. We got Sid the Sloth. Now what can we name the flamingo? Philip. Philip the flamingo. Philip the flamingo. <laughs> I like it. Pop a bit more yellow by his beak. I don't really want this to run into the pink. Tiny bit of white. Just to lighten it up that I am going to pop him under the lamp as he is and I'll do his beak separately. So pop him under for 30 seconds please. Right, so now using serious Black, I am loading my brush up nice and thin. I'm going to start adding some details. So that line up there and do his eye. Beak. So I've got hardly any product on my brush. I'm just kind of dragging down what product I have got. Where I want it. Oh my God, my belly. So I'm just gonna add some little tiny bits of detail. Knees.
pop him under. I'm going to do just a 10 seconds quick flash. All right, so what I'm going to do now is top coat all of them, all three, because the ring finger's already done. Push up towards the cuticle, down the nail, cap the free edge. Already top coated this one, don't need to do that. Sealing Philip. Pop that under for one minute. Thank you very much. So with the thumb, I'm going to go for a glitter, going for Fairy's Island. I'm going to get it as close to the cuticle as I can. Drag it down the nail. I love these big chunky bits of glitter that there's in them. So with my little brush, I'm just going to get closer to that cuticle. There we go, cap in. And then pop that under. 30 seconds, please. Obviously, if I was doing both hands, I'd be putting... I'd be putting both thumbs in together. Second coat. Pop that in. Another 30, please. Now to seal that in with the Urban Graffiti top coat. Pop that under for a minute, please. So now I'm gonna rehydrate those nails using the Neo Passion Fruit. <laughs> So there we have my Flamingo foil, a bit of glitter, my very flamboyant Flamingo, Philip. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video and give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All the products are listed below and I'll see you next time. Bye!